From the first day of its existence, the State of Israel has been forced to prove the right of its existence to almost the entire Arab world. And as a rule, it was necessary to prove this right mainly by force of arms. There are still a number of countries that do not recognize Israel as a state. In addition, there are territorial disputes with several neighboring states. All this, as well as the almost constant presence in a state of war, makes it necessary for Israel to maintain a strong army on all sides. A special feature is also the developed and practically independent military industry, which allows the production of military equipment for any purpose. The Israel Defense Forces is currently one of the most combat-ready armies in the world and perhaps the most combat-ready in the Middle East. Despite the small number of active duty personnel, about 200,000 people. The Israeli Armed Forces consist of the Ground Forces, the Air Force, and the Navy. In addition, the presence of land-based, sea-based, and air-based nuclear weapons is assumed. According to some reports, there are about 100 nuclear warheads. Israel's military budget is about $20 billion. The Israeli ground forces consist of motorized infantry, armor troops, artillery, special forces, light infantry border guards, and support troops. The armament of the ground forces consists mainly of samples of its own production and includes about 4,000 Merkava tanks of modifications 2, 3, and 4, about 8,000 infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers, about 2,000 artillery pieces, including self-propelled artillery guns, MLRS, and mortars. In addition, Israel has operational Jericho-type missile systems in service, but their number is not reported. The ground forces also have special operation units designed for reconnaissance, sabotage operations behind enemy lines, as well as information operations. Their numbers and structure are not reported. The total number of ground forces in active service is about 150,000 people. The Israeli Air Force includes fighter, strike, army, and special aviation, as well as air defense forces. The Air Force is armed with about 380 modern American combat aircraft, such as the F-16, F-15 of various modifications, including modified with the participation of the Israeli military industry, and about 20 new F-35. There are also about 100 obsolete F-4E aircraft in warehouses. About 80 American-made Boeing 707 and C-130H transport aircraft. The Army aviation is represented by American Apache and Cobra helicopters of about 140 units, as well as transport and multifunctional helicopters manufactured in the USA of various types. Also in service with the Air Force are reconnaissance and reconnaissance strike drones such as Heron, Hermes, and others. The exact amount is not reported. The Air Defense Forces have about 500 SAM launchers and American long, medium, and short-range anti-missile systems, such as Patriot and of their own production, such as the Iron Dome. In addition, the Air Force includes special forces, whose main tasks are reconnaissance and targeting of strike aircraft at enemy targets. The total number of the Air Force, not counting reservists, is about 36,000 people. Israel has a small naval force that includes up to 100 vessels for various purposes, including five submarines, three corvettes, 10 missile and four patrol boats, as well as support vessels. The Navy also has special purpose units with reconnaissance and mine sabotage tasks. The total number of the Israeli Navy does not exceed 10,000 people. Israel has a lot of combat experience. Thus, from 1948 to the present, Israel has participated in about 15 military conflicts of varying intensity. In the series of Arab-Israeli wars of the last century, Israel repeatedly had to deal with a numerically superior enemy more than twice and at the same time emerge victorious. In the 21st century, Israel's successes in the wars with Lebanon were not always unambiguous. Nowadays, Israel almost constantly uses aviation, missile forces, and artillery to strike targets of Syrian and Iranian troops. The most important country in the Middle East region is Iran. 
Despite the difficult relations with a number of countries, as well as the sanctions policy of the West, this state retains and increases its potential in various fields, including the armed forces. The specifics of the situation in the Middle East, including open confrontation with Israel, forces Tehran to pay special attention to the development of the army and its weapons. Iran has a developed military industry, which allows it to create various types of weapons. And currently, the Iranian army is one of the most powerful in the region. In addition, Iran is working on the creation of nuclear weapons. Iran's military budget is about 20 billion US dollars, and the number of armed forces is about 650,000 people. Iran's armed forces include the army as part of the ground forces, the air force and navy, and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, which also has land, air and sea components, as well as missile forces and cyber operations forces. The ground forces of the army and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps include tank troops, infantry, artillery, air defense, and support troops. In addition, they include an airborne assault division and special forces units. The army has about 2,000 tanks in total, including the Russian T-72, its own Zulfikar and Carer, as well as outdated Soviet, American, and British-made vehicles such as the T-55, T-62, M47, M60, and Chieftain. More than 800 armored vehicles, such as the Soviet BMP and BTR, MTLB, American M113 and their own Borag and Cobra, created on the basis of the Soviet BMP. More than 5,000 artillery pieces, MLRS, and mortars, as well as a large number of man pads and anti-aircraft artillery, about 30 operational and tactical missile systems, which are a further development of Soviet and North Korean models. The special forces consist of a division and separate special forces units, which are the rapid reaction forces of the ground forces and perform reconnaissance, sabotage operations, as well as capturing and holding enemy territory until the main forces approach. The most combat-ready special forces units are considered to be the IRC forces, such as the Kuds. This unit has serious combat experience in performing special operations outside Iran. The total number of Iranian ground forces is about 400,000 people. The Iranian Air Force, as well as the aerospace forces of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, have about 500 military aircraft, of which about 350 fighters and attack aircraft, including outdated American F-4, F-14, F-5 and F-111, as well as Soviet MiG-29, Su-24M and the Su-25, the outdated Su-22 and the Chinese Gen-7. Transport and special aviation are represented by American C-130, Boeing 747 and 707, Russian IL-76 and others. About 300 helicopters, including about 150 American Cobra attack helicopters and Shad's own helicopters. Transport and special helicopters are represented by American Chinook, as well as Russian Mi-17 and others. The Iranian military leadership pays considerable attention to the development of unmanned aerial vehicles. There are more than 500 reconnaissance and reconnaissance strike drones of their own production and service. In the face of the threat of Israeli and Western attacks on Iranian facilities, the air defense system is of great importance. Currently, Iran is armed with more than one and a half thousand long dash, medium, and short range anti aircraft missile systems of Russian, American, British, French, Chinese, and its own production. And Iran currently has one of the strongest air defense systems in the region. The IRC Aerospace Forces have missile forces armed with ballistic missile systems of their own production Shahab 1, 2, and 3 with a range of 300, 700, and 2,000 kilometers, respectively. Thus, the Shahab 3 missiles are capable of hitting any target within the entire Middle East. Iran also has its own space program, so there are special reconnaissance spacecraft in orbit. The number of the Air Force and Aerospace Forces of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps of Iran is approximately 50,000 people. According to various estimates, the Iranian Navy has up to 30 diesel-electric submarines in service, including three Russian Kilo projects, 
three frigates, two corvettes, about 24 missile boats, as well as landing ships and support vessels. There is a Marine Corps with standard tasks for troops of this class. The most combat-ready Marine Corps unit is the Takavarn Marine Special Forces, whose main tasks are reconnaissance, sabotage operations, and performing the most difficult tasks on land. The total number of the Iranian Navy is about 50,000 people. Iran's combat experience at the end of the 20th century was in the war with Iraq in the 80s of the last century. This war was the longest and last total war of the 20th century. Neither side won. However, there have been Iranian successes in counteroffensive operations. Aviation and naval forces were widely used. Both sides used chemical weapons. In the 21st century, Iranian armed groups are involved in providing military assistance to the Syrian leadership against extremists, as well as the military confrontation with Israel does not stop. Thus, with a comparable military budget of both countries, Iran's army outnumbers Israel's by more than two times. The technical equipment of the Israeli ground forces surpasses Iran in both quantity and quality, except for artillery. According to this indicator, Iran has a quantitative advantage. The number of combat aircraft of Iran and Israel is comparable. At the same time, the qualitative component of Israel's combat aviation surpasses Iran. The same applies to the fleet of combat and transport helicopters of both countries. Both countries have their own unmanned reconnaissance and strike aircraft. However, Iran's air defense is more powerful in number than Israel's. This allows Iran to fend off Israel's advantage in the air. Iran's superiority at sea is noted. Iran has six times more submarines, a comparable number of corvette and frigate-class warships, and more than twice as many missile boats. Despite Iran's long-range missiles, equipping them with conventional warheads does not give an advantage over Israel. 